chaps. Happy, happy Tuesday to you all. Thanks for dropping by. This morning's task is A, wait for the concentric reducers to arrive. Uh, while I'm here, I'll address a couple of comments that I saw yesterday. One of them was, why don't you put the concentric reducers onto the cones before you weld the cones onto the tanks? That's a good idea, but I don't have the concentric reducers and I wanted to get one of these on to prove the concept, which is what we're doing constantly today, or constantly throughout the build. Uh, so I'm not going to put the rest on until the concentric reducers arrive, but yes, good point, well made. And secondly, there was also a question about rigidity. Now yeah, they're not going to be very rigid. Rolling tops on something like this is damn near impossible, you know, to put a rolled top on the edge of the tank. But what I did on my last tanks was I put angle iron. I had some angle iron rolled and I put that around. Not going to do that this time, but I do have some flat bar, some 10mm by 5mm flat bar, which I purchased just for this particular task and also for making a cooling chill plate on the side just to give it a standoff. You'll see when we get to that stage anyway. So this morning I would like to roll some hoops to go on the outside of this tank and then we're going to weld that on. That's going to be one hell of a task. So this is the flat stock that I ordered to do all of this kind of stuff with. You can see it's fairly fairly decent section, it's 10 millimeters by 5 and then we've also got this bit of pipe, this syringe pipe to make legs with and this is going to be pipe outlet, this one inch pipe. So I ran a piece of the bar stock through the rollers to see if it could put a radius on there for me and you can see it can, although it's a little bit nerve wracking because we've got the rollers set up on the depth which is 10 mil. so if it snaps over to the side it tends to sort of whip you in the face. So we'll set these rollers up again and we'll see if we can roll the whole thing into a two and a half meter radius. How perfect this is gonna roll, I don't know. It might take some shaping with the hammer afterwards, like everything else, I guess. So we've got the first ring, sort of ring, rolled. I'll show you that when I get a bit more practice. Full concentration on not chopping off a thumb, I'm afraid, folks. So you have to come second. It's a good fit all the way around till about here. And then it starts to come out a little bit. So I think I might be able to just work that with the hammer and get it looking something like. Hello. Hey, they love it when you're on, Chris. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Right, he's come bearing gifts. We've got the box here from uh, <laughs> GC Supplies. Yep. They always put all this shredded paper in. Good foot fire. Ooh. Right, so we've got two inch 90s. So these are for the outlet. I've gone for the two inch because... Are they two inch? Yeah, oh, two inch. Small. We've got the two inch liners, yep. these are the concentric reducers, four inch down to two. Then we've got inch and a half, oh no they're two inch. <clears throat> yeah I think we've got 12 or 15 of these. Yeah. Because there's got to be one on each end of elbows. And then the uh, two inch nuts, yeah an inch and a half liners. So, believe it or not, 
that, 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 and those bits there, that's what 450 quid gets you these days. <laughs> managed to get a ring out of this flat stock rolled into what looks to me like a ring. Bit of bashing about and what have you. And then we're just tacking it on and this is going to give the top of the tank some rigidity moving forwards and hopefully something to bring any insulation off and then run it down the tank. It's looking promising. Well, we've stood her up in a bucket and I think she looks, I can't stand far enough back to get her in. What do you think to that? She's a beauty. All right. So we've got the ring on the top and again, this looks pretty damn good. Apart from the ring was just a little bit too big as we're tacking it up. Yeah. So we're just gonna go in. I think maybe if we just split it to the grinding disc, the width of the disc will probably be enough to bring it, it round might, almost. Might be, yeah, might be. And we'll just take that in. Right, we've got a belly full of chips. So I think it's time we put the kettle on. And have a look if we can make a cup of tea like that. Froggy's had to go home. Thanks again, mate, for another fantastic pair of hands. The man is not only useful, but is knowledgeable. He knows a heck of a lot about engineering, this chap. What we did together was uh, the flat bar kept flipping all the time in the rollers as we were trying to put, uh, put, put <laughs> as we were trying to roll them into rings. So what we did was grind out the rollers where these ring rollers are, we added one which had, which was U-shaped with sharp edges. So it actually held, it actually held the, uh, the flat stock, five mil, six mil wide, stopped it from flipping over. And we tightened up a bit of slop in the gear in. So to give us a job tomorrow, I want to get the cones, as many as I can on the tanks. Now these are the concentric reducers that we need to put on the bottoms like that to get us down to a 2mm fitting, 2 inch fitting to get us down to a 2 inch outlet. I've only got 3 so I'm going to have to do the other 2 when they actually arrive but this is my next task. So just here folks is one of the fittings, one of the said fittings and what we need to do is tack this male piece onto this concentric reducer and once that's on we can then turn it on its side purge it with gas argon and start to weld around the perimeter and then once that's done I have to weld the, the whole thing onto the cone in the background there that bad boy Right folks, that's tacked on there. You should be able to see those lovely looking tacks. So yeah, these are the kind of tacks that you get when you just belt the thumb switch at 200 amps or thereabouts. Lovely and clean. So what we're gonna do now is just run around the whole seam while it's purged and weld the whole thing up. Right folks, I've just sat down to weld this up, so I thought I'd show you what I've got going on here. I've completely sealed this fitting up. 
There's an argon pipe coming into the back. I've pricked a few holes into this end and we're going to back purge the whole fit in while we flow this seam around the centre. And we'll come back and have a look what this weld looks like once it's a complete aid. What do you think to that then guys? They're the outlets, the male unions of which these nuts will screw onto. I'm pretty pleased with them. I've just got that one more to do there and that cone needs wrestling around a little bit. It's not in good shape. Craig's been in to see me and he'd like to have a pint this afternoon or this evening. It's now half past six and Gemma's coming down as well. So I'm going to call it a day folks. I'm going to nip in and have a few beers. Hopefully edit the vlog before midnight. Yeah, so we'll be back in here tomorrow to finish off this last cone and then wrestle the tops onto the cylinders. So I'll see you for that guys, cheers. Seeing as it's just you two in here, I thought I'd bring the camera. They've not seen you for a bit, buddy. No. No, everyone's been missing you. Well, I lie, nobody's asked anything. <laughs>